the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. I, this is deep today. I really, I'm telling you, they deep every day, really, right? Every Sunday, right? But this is deep. This one is probably the most important message that was ever discussed uh, that we went over today, or I went over today. And I wanted to share with you, and I, I just want to encourage you to listen to these studies this week um, because it matters to you personally concerning the direction you should take in life, concerning the Word of God. And the direction should always be toward Christ, toward Yeshua, toward Jesus. You know, the scripture says in John 14, 6, Jesus, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And that means you don't go by the color of your skin. You don't go by your political affiliation. You don't go by your nationality. You don't go by what country you're in. You don't go by the country where you came from. You go by Christ. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. But if you can keep that in mind, you can make a big difference. So we're going to go and talk about the study real quick. This is the introduction. And, and one of the things I want to do is make sure you know this is what we talked about today. This is a good question, too. It's like the fact is, and, and I like it, and I think it makes sense. It's a question. And I'm going to answer the question at the same time. Do Christians believe we are not accountable to God, but to man? And the scripture I'm using is Romans 14, 12, Jeremiah 17, 10, and Galatians 1, 6 through 10. I'm going to focus on the foundation scriptures in Romans 14, 6 through 12 that I'm going to talk about. But the point is this. Do Christians, because that's why that's what I am. I'm a believer in Christ, Christ Jesus. He's my Lord and personal Savior. So I'm asking a question as a fellow Christian to other Christians, right? I'm gonna answer the question in a second. But what I'm saying is, do Christians believe we are not accountable to God but to man? The answer is that we are accountable to God, not to man. And but your actions must line up with that statement, right? Because what people see. And let me get this up. Come off the screen right here. What people see is in most cases, it seems like people move based on the will or preference of your fellow man. You call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a believer in Christ. But you do the thing that is, you do contrary to the word of God. And therefore, you act like you're not accountable to God. Now make sure you get this, this foundational script I was using is in Romans, like I was telling you earlier, in Romans 7. And I want to make sure we cover those real quick. In Romans 7, it says, let me make sure I get it up there for you. I know I got to talk too long. Romans 14, side is 7 to 12. For none of us live unto himself. And no man dies to himself. For whether we live, whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For this, for to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. For why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all, we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. I say it again. Every one of us should give an account of himself to God. That preacher, that minister should give an account of himself to God. And if he's sitting there endorsing you to do bad things, you know, I have one of my friends sit there and say, 
I want to be able to talk about and preach about all kinds of things. And then I, some of the things, I don't want the, the system to discriminate me and tell me I can't preach about the Bible. You know, the, if you're teaching, if you're a Christian, you're teaching about preaching the good news. And people should walk out being able to go preach the good news. If people walk out and sit there and go and beat somebody up because of this exploitation or something else, if people go out there and go and list people because of the color of skin, you didn't preach the good news. Because that, you obviously didn't preach the good news. You didn't preach that they were supposed to love one another. You preached that they were supposed to be the wrath of God. That's not God. That's not the will of God. We should not be going around crucifying anybody. We should not be beating up anybody. We should be loving everybody. And if you feel that that's not justified, but you feel that the preaching the gospel is not enough, then you go ahead and be something else, but you're not preaching the gospel. And the Bible says if you preach any other gospel, you are a curse. You think about that. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to encourage other people to come to Christ. We're supposed to sit there and say that come as you are because the only person who can clean you is him. We're supposed to sit there and say the only way I can be holy is through him. The only way I can be righteous is through him. Remember that. That's what we're talking about today. So I hope you enjoyed this study. I hope you learned the session coming up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share what you learned to somebody else. Cause that's really what matters. You can subscribe all you want, leave a comment all you want. I don't care, I wanna hear what scripture, but I want you, if you're gonna comment, comment based on the scriptures. Because that's what matters. But the bottom line is this, we all are giving account to God. So I hope you enjoyed the session coming up. Well, I'm going to break them down into A, B, C, D, whatever the cup takes. And then I'm going to go ahead and send these out daily. But I want you to remember that Yeshua is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord in your life. And do His will. That's all that matters. Enjoy the session. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at this one. Those who rape all those people during slavery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. How many? How many of those people rape uh, ancestors on the boat? How many? How many? You, how many you think they they're not going to give an account themselves to God? They will. If they did, if they died in their sin, you, if you don't think they well, that's what I'm saying. You probably that's why that's why you're not a child of God. If you, if you endorse and you teach your children that these things were okay, you know, like we talked about last week about benefiting from slavery, get a break. You're not, those people who did those things are not operating as believers in Christ. Because Christ already came to this time. And they, they, they rape, they kill, they commit adultery. How about this one? Thou shall not steal. You took some of those people took a human being from another continent and brought them over in, in ships in the bottom of the boat and did bad things to them while they was on the ship, raped them and did everything else to them in the bottom of the boat or on the ship. Then took them to a country, some to the United States, some to other places, and they were brutalized, raped mutilated and he said thou shalt not steal what part of that do you think what are those people going to do are they going to give an account of themselves to God yes they will every last one of them how because we're talking about past tense right all those people died and gave an account of themselves to God and all of those things that they passed down to their children's children's children those children will give an account to God. You, as an individual, will give yourself an account to God. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Thou shall not bear false witness. Good Lord. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Oh my, I think there's a political witch hunt. So therefore we're not gonna, we're gonna ignore the laws of the land. We're gonna get rid of the FBI. We're going to do all kinds of things like that. They said, that bad false witness. I'm going to endorse it. I'm going to believe what he said. I know it's not true. I know it's not true myself. I know in my heart it's not true, but I'm going to say it anyway. Because I feel I'm justified. I feel it's a political thing. 
I know it's a good person just trying to get the law, but I'm going to tell you it's political. So I'm going to sit there and accept the law and the lie and spread the lie. Well, you can give yourself account to God. Those in 2023, those in 2020, those in 2021, those in 2016, those in life. We're going to sit there and bear false witness against our neighbor. How many people have been raped? How many people have been put in jail because you bear false witness against somebody? And you don't think you're going to give account to God? Yes, you will. And yes, you have. Some of you are already. Those who have died. You may got away, you may got away with something, but you're not getting away with from God. These are the things I'm talking about. These are scriptures. They're very clear. And some of you sit there and, and, and say, well, my, my fellow man, my fellow black man, my fellow white man, everybody else, they 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 approved it. They accepted what I did. They are not the ones that can put you in hell. They are not the ones that are gonna judge you in the end. You are accountable to God. You better get this right. I hope somebody's listening to this and start telling other people too. You're accountable to God. Your behavior is accountable to God, not to man, but to God. Stop trying to seek the approval of man, start seeking the approval of God. Look at this one right here, 17. Thou shalt not cover that neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover that neighbor's wife. Nor his manservant, or his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. To the point you must take it from them. You get mad and jealous. Black Wall Street, come on. All the other atrocities, come on. What you doing today? I'm like, oh Lord, help him, Lord. Help him. I hope so. Uh, listen. Those who will listen to this, please, you talk to your fellow man and say, don't you know you got to give account to God? Now, if you don't care about God, that's okay. You still need to account to God. And then you better tell him, you tell him to your face. Tell him to, tell him to his face when you die that you didn't care. You already don't know it anyway. But y'all, you go with your bad self and sit there think you can do what you want. And you know, I thought this was a tragedy and this is how we'll close up with this at the end of the Ten Commandments, because this is what applies even today. Check this out. <coughs> Excuse me. In Exodus 20, 18. And all the people, this is what the children of Israel heard the Ten Commandments we just read. Saw the thundering and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountains smoking and when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, and that's the tragedy right here. They spake, told Moses, speak thou to us. That's what a lot of us have done up to this day, up and all with the 2023. All those that sit there and listen to Pope Nicholas V back in the 1500s, who said, "Go ahead and 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 these people not coming on the grace of God. You can do whatever you want to them, and you can put them in perpetual slavery, slavery, because they chose a man to speak to God instead of them giving account to God themselves, instead of praying to God themselves, instead of having a relationship to God themselves." They said, because that was the opportunity for them to have a relationship with God, they said, we will hear you. We will hear another man instead of hearing God. So they stood up all. Because they said this, but let not God speak with us lest we die. You know why people sit there and say, well, I don't want God to speak to God? That's probably why some people don't want to pray to God. And because the fact is, they feel that God will look at them and say, you're lying, you're not sincere, what you're saying is not in your heart, it's in your head. And, and, and therefore, they will say, unless we die. So they, they say, you go speak to them. Let's put somebody in between God and man. Instead of sitting there saying, Christ, who is God in Godhead, right? But they're going to sit there and say, no, I, I want a man to speak. And I mean, you got your pastor, <laughs> your political party, <laughs> your friend, and everything else. You want to put them in between you and God. Pray for me. When you sit there and say, you pray for yourself. You can pray in agreement with me, but you need to pray yourself. 
but you don't sit there and pray to God because you know that God knows he's looking at you like, are you, why are you lying to me? Why don't you just be real to me? Come on, saints. This is, that's where it started, right there. It actually started in the garden, in the garden, of, in the garden of Adam and Eve, listening to the serpent instead of listening to God. And then after they listened to the serpent, then they hid themselves from God. Because they didn't want to die. Right? Come on. Say. That's what these children of Israel did. And Moses said unto the people, fear, fear not. But God has come to prove you. And that his fear may be before your faces that you sin not. That's what I'm trying. Oh, man, I'm going to make some of this a title himself. Because the fact is, if we sit there and listen and hold ourselves accountable to God, then that will cause us to do and make decisions that lines up with his will, knowing that we all got to give account to God. And the people stood off, stood afar off, and Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was, because the people didn't want to hear from God. They wanted to go say somebody else did it. And if you knew the story of this, that's how quickly they, a few chapters down, next day they know, they said, we don't know what ever happened to Moses. He'd been up there 40 days, 40 nights. So we'll go ahead and build us a golden calf. We'll go ahead and worship the golden calf. We'll sit there and go back to Egypt. You know, uh, that, that that's what I wanted to at least try to cover for this session. I, like I said, I had all these technical problems, but I still press forward because it's important to get the word out, what God is trying to tell us today. You are, we are all accountable to God if we can start walking that way. Because that middle old saying, what would Jesus do? That, that, that meant hold yourself accountable to his way. John 14, 6, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So why don't we sit there and focus on the fact is that we do His will. We're accountable to Him. Everybody is listening to this even now. Just focus on the fact that I'm accountable to God. And His will be done. Use the Lord's Prayer every day of your life to remind you that His will be done. Not somebody else. Because I'm guaranteed, I'm just telling you, man, People, even yourself, are not the judge. It's not, you're not accountable to yourself in the sense of God's will. God, you want God to, you want to be accountable to God first. Because we know about being accountable to ourselves. Because ourselves sit there and tell us to do things that is contrary to the will of God. In a lot of cases, right? I don't know. I, I'm a human being too, right? So I know my flesh tells me I want to do this, I want to do that. Do I hope? But I, I'm not accountable to this flesh. I'm accountable to God. If we can sit there and, and have that mentality, I'm accountable to God. So that I don't, my, His will is for me to love my fellow man. I am a Christian, right? I'm not a Hebrew, okay? At least far as that, no, I'm not a Hebrew. But I am a believer in Christ. And the fact is that he taught us. You know, he gave a new commandment in John 14, 6. I mean, John uh, 13, 35, 34, 35. He said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Verse 35 said, men will know that you are my disciples. See, because that to me, men will see you and know that you're my disciples because of the love you show one another. But if you sit there and bite and discriminate and do all those type of things toward your brother, just like Cain did to Abel, because that's what it seemed like today, that it has not changed. The very first man that was born, named Cain, was a murderer. And who didn't kill? His brother. And all of us don't think we're brothers and sisters. I know some of you don't think that. But in the eyes of God, we're all brothers and sisters. We're all related to one another. We're all fellow man. <laughs> we sit there and let the outward appearance decide to find who we are, but the reality is the inward man that connects us all together. But 
if you want to call yourself a so-called Christian, if you want to sit there and go against the will of God, if you want to sit there and put your pride in everything else above God, just recognize that you are not of God. You're not of his inheritance. And you still will give an account to him. So, believers, a tree is known by his fruit. Amen? A tree is known by his fruit. And if you don't, you you can sit there and 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 act like it's not true, but a tree is known by his fruit. And let me make sure I didn't put that in there. Matter of fact, I got to put that in there. I'm sorry. I said this and that was the last scripture. I got to put that in there because you, you, you can't. You can't. You can't go without this. Because I'm trying to uh, point this piece out right here. Because I think it's a tragedy if we don't recognize that when we call ourselves a Christian, <laughs> then we need to understand what that means. So the study today. And the fact is that we all give an account of ourselves to God. And so leave this one thing in my doubts. What would Jesus do? What would Yeshua do? Think that way as you move through life. Okay? <laughs> and don't worry about whether people approve of where you are, where you are or not. You are a child of God because it's the will of God. Remember we put that in 2 Timothy? He will for all men to be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth of God. I'm putting things out. I talk to you longer because I'm trying to make sure you get the word of God. Because it's the word of God that matters, not me. But I'm guaranteeing you if some preacher or some Christian sit there and say, you are accountable to me. Now I'm going to judge you. I'm going to assess whether you believe or not. You need to sit there and say, you, I'm not accountable to you, so I don't matter whether you believe I'm a Christian or not. I don't need you to sit there and try to tell me that I'm, I can make an assessment myself. I'm not even going to make an assessment myself. I'm going to sit there and say, I'm a child of God because of Him. And I'm trying to do His will. And you don't sit there and come tell me with some small, thin layer, one thin slice of Christianity, and to hold me accountable because I'm not going to be accountable to you. I'm accountable to God. Stop letting people sit there and run people off away from the church because you they didn't you didn't meet their criteria. You didn't need to meet their criteria. You need to meet God's criteria. You remember Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but I came to call the sinners of repentance. So he's seeking you. He's seeking me. Those people sit there act like they never sin. Those people act like they don't sin. You need to sit there and say, get behind me, Satan. You're mindful of the things of man instead of the things of God. And don't sit there and tell me you want to give me one piece of God's will and hold me accountable for it. You don't hold the rest of the stuff in life that you're accountable for. Get a life. You pray for me. You have mercy for me. You don't sit there and condemn me because you have not the authority to do so. You should encourage me to do right, but you don't sit there and try to tell me that I'm supposed to think the way you think. Doing that. Running so many people away from Christ. One, two, people in church. You got some people sitting there saying, how can you be a Democrat if you're a Christian? How can you be a Christian if you're a Republican? Get a life. You can be a Christian. You call yourself a Christian. You can be affiliated with any party you want. The question is, as long as you say that, his will is above their will, their platform your platform, your will. I am not being held accountable because of you. I will take those issues, those platforms, those things to God. And on top of this, and we we'll load this, I am not a instrument of God. I'm not a judge. I don't judge people whether they go to heaven or hell. I don't judge that. I'm just telling you, you need to be accountable to God. And if you feel comfortable with what you're doing, you keep doing what you're doing with your bad self. But I know that I'm accountable to God. And you need to make sure you do that. When you confront people, they can confront you. You say, pray for me. That's the thing that I gotta work on. But I hope you're praying for yourself as well. And I hope you're lined up with his will as well. Because you know what? You come in where you want to, but you can give account to God. And one of the things you got to worry about is if you sit there and condemn me, if you sit there and coming against me, and especially you're trying to use physical force against me, you're going to be accountable to God. You do what you do. You call what you want to call it. Amen. Man, I, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and reflect on these scriptures again. <laughs> and, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put these videos out, and I and I, and I hope that we all just study show ourselves approved, and just recognize we're accountable to God. What would Yeshua do when you make decisions? If you line up with that, I think you're gonna make some right decisions. I'm gonna make perfect because that was perfect. I ain't perfect, and I ain't said I am perfect, but I know what I know. Nobody out there, I know. You know, none of them are perfect. None of them are holy. But they can be holy in Christ. You can't be holy outside of Christ. You can't be holy outside of your own preference. Your own righteousness. You're not going to be holy. You only be holy because of Him. You're going to be righteous because of Him. That's what the scripture says. All right? All right. God bless you. Hope you have a great week. And I'll see you when I see you. I'm going to go ahead and do my introduction uh, for these tapes. You know, I'll break them down into segments, right? I'll break them down to from A, B, and C, try to do 20, 30 minutes, you know, mostly, uh, <laughs> to the best of my ability. And and then I sit down and put those out, hopefully on a daily basis. I send out texts, I send out like, a, like today, <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But the uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook and Twitter, they get it every day. You know, hey, you gotta reach people the best way you can, right? It's about the word of God. Preach the gospel. That's what we call us to do. So I'm gonna preach it. I'm gonna teach it. I'm gonna discuss it. And I hope you do the same. Learn what you learn. Throw out what's not important, but don't throw out the will of God. And share, man. We need to, we, we, let's share the scriptures, all right? And don't forget to subscribe, all right? All right, God bless you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, do my introduction for my videotapes uh, from this session today. All right? Stay blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.